Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 Maserati Quattroporte Trofeo, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Maserati has introduced a new range-topping Trofeo trim to the Quattroporte lineup for 2021. The Trofeo is powered by a 580 horsepower twin-turbo V8 that twists the rear wheels through an 8-speed automatic transmission. A limited-slip rear differential comes standard, as does a Corsa driving mode that unlocks the car's full potential. In addition to these upgrades, the Quattroporte Trofeo showcases its top-of-the-line designation with a unique grille, red accented fender vents, 21-inch wheels, and carbon fiber trim. The latest Quattroporte has a new infotainment system too, with a 10.1-inch touchscreen replacing the old 8.4-inch unit. A wireless charging pad and a new gauge display with updated graphics round out the change. Sporty, large luxury sedans have been around for decades, but recently automakers have been introducing even sleeker models. You could likely credit Maserati as one of the pioneers when it reintroduced the Quattroporte, which is Italian for four in 2003. The 2021 Maserati Quattroporte sets itself apart from its German rivals with a distinctly Italian flair. This is due in no small part to its engines which come from sister company Ferrari. Add to that the striking Maserati Trident logo in the grille and some flourishes inside and the Quattroporte manages to feel special. Okay let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Maserati Quattroporte. We are going to build and price the top tier Trofeo Maserati. Model. Real quick, before we get started, however, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links down in the description below. This Maserati Quattroporte Trofeo competes with other high-end performance luxury automobiles. I've done build and price reviews of many of them, such as the 2020 Porsche Panamera Turbo, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, I also did the 2021 BMW Alpina B7 X-Drive sedan, also one of my all-time favorites. And I did the 2020 Mercedes AMG GT 63S four-door coupe. Very hot, very powerful uh, super sedan there. So all three of those automobiles compete directly with this Maserati Quattroporte Trofeo. In addition, I have actually recently uh, did some other Maserati videos, some other build and price reviews you might be interested in. For instance, I did the Maserati Ghibli Trofeo 2021. Very nice car. That's what really got me started. Well, what really got me started on the Maserati kick was I did the 2022 Maserati MC20, right? And that is very nice. That is a very nice exotic car. And then, of course, I did the Ghibli. Had to do that in the Trofeo. I, then now, here we are. We're going to do the Maserati Trofeo. I have not done the Levante SUV, but make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's on the list. I'll be doing that soon. So according to their website, the Maserati Quattroporte for 2021 looks like it comes in three trim levels. You've got the Quattroporte Trofeo. It has an MSRP of $142,390. Here we can see its specs, 580 horse, 524 pound-feet of torque. It's rear-wheel drive. It's V8. Uh, it does 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds. has a top speed of 203 miles an hour says here that we can also listen to the engine, so let's see how that might sound. Well, that was some noise, definitely. All right, so that's the Quattroporte Trofeo. Now we've got the uh, Quattroporte S. It's a different engine. We're not going to listen to that engine. Uh, but the engine is real healthy. It makes 424 horsepower, 406 pound-feet of torque. Quattroporte S uh, has a starting MSRP, 104,390. Does 179 miles an hour. It's got a V6. The Quattroporte SQ4. Uh, is that the base model? No, the SQ4 is a step up. It's 108,890. Uh, gets the same engine. Uh, as the Quattroporte S. Okay, so the Maserati Quattroporte Trofeo is the fastest uh, Quattroporte 
uh, that that there is, and it has unprecedented levels of performance. So let's find out some more specifics about this Trofeo. All right, uh, 203 miles an hour, 0 to 64.2 seconds, 580 horsepower out of that V8 engine. We kind of knew all of this. Uh, the Quattroporte has been around, that name has been around since 1963, and it's always combined a V8 engine with an elegant body and luxury interior. Hmm, did not know that. The Maserati Quattroporte Trofeo comes with a Corsa mode, a sport co Corsa mode, which sharpens transmission responses, uh, renders a more intense engine sound. Uh, there's also launch control as well. Other unique uh, aspects of the Quattroporte Trofeo, you get these tro uh, Trofeo specific 21 inch race inspired wheels uh, in a dedicated dark finish and you've got the Brembo performance brakes. Of course you've got the V8 engine at the, at the end of the day that's what makes the Trofeo the Trofeo this V8 engine and it has a sleek carbon fiber cover uh, and cylinder heads with intense red accents. It's a nice looking engine as well. The Quattroporte Trofeo has some unique exterior accents, uh, specific elements such as high gloss carbon fiber on the front, the rear, and on the side air intakes. Uh, the, the exhaust pipes are uh, dark, they're darkened out, and you also have black side skirts on the Trofeo uh, version of the Quattroporte. There's also some specific logos. There's like a very unique logo here. There's the Trident back here, but there's actually like a red lightning bolt on that Trident. That's a specific uh, logo for the Quattroporte, as is, you can kind of see this kind of sort of Italian flag looking thing right here on the B pillar, also specific to the Trofeo uh, versions as well. And I think even this kind of red accents right down here on these fender vents is also specific to the Trofeo. When it comes to the Maserati Quattroporte Trofeo on the interior, you've got some unique aspects. You've got some really fine leather interior. You've got the frameless multimedia display. It's a 10.1 inch screen. You got four zone climate control. You got even you even have sport rear seats. Uh, you got a, a carbon fiber. Supposedly you got carbon fiber on the steering wheel with shift paddles, and you've got the sport pedals. I can also see some carbon fiber down on your interior trim down here, right on the center console. In the non-Trofeo model, we can actually see a better shot of the interior. In the Trofeo images, not that there's many gallery images because there, there isn't, which is why we haven't gone through a gallery, uh, we can see the, the infotainment screen a lot better. It is frameless. It's Android-based. Uh, and, yeah, it's, it, it's nice. It's definitely nice. Here, this is a non-Trofeo model, so we can see like an open-pore wood kind of thing, whereas on the Trofeo, all this wood is going to be replaced with carbon fiber elements. Let's find out real quick about some exterior and interior features for our 2021 Maserati Quattroporte. And then I think we'll get into the build because, honestly, uh, Maserati doesn't have a lot of stuff on their website. It's more of a flary website. With a, they don't really say much. Sometimes you've got a really busy website that says nothing. Uh, so here they're telling us about the advanced driving assist system. It's a level 2 autonomous system, driving system, and it's currently the highest level autonomous driving system that you can get on the road today. Of course, the Quattroporte is all about its engines. They're Ferrari sourced, and you either have the V8 and the Trofeo or the other two trim levels get a very healthy, respectable V6 engine. That What was it, 474 horsepower? It's legit. The Maserati Quattroporte comes standard with adaptive full LED headlights, and they're fitted as standard, feature a three-blade design. There's also an adaptive driving beam that automatically adjusts the width and depth of the headlight according to several parameters, including steering position, car speed, and the way the car is being driven. Very Okay, we've got some other in exterior features here. This one's obviously going to probably talk about the wheels. Yeah. And, and keep in mind here, now we're talking about features of the Maserati Quattroporte, the regular ones, and the Trofeo. So you've got, some, you've got some wheel choices out there, depending on what trim level of Quattroporte you want. You've got the Skyhook suspension uh, with shock absorbers and all that. Their Skyhook suspension must be their whole unique signature suspension system. Uh, you've got this Nerismo package. Now what is that? The Nerismo package... 
and if I'm even pronouncing that right, and then the Nerismo package with carbon fiber. Uh, both packages include a vast array of elegant and intriguing customizations. Right, so if you want a more bespoke Maserati Quattroporte, I guess you might be looking into the Nerismo package. Like I said, if I'm even pronouncing that right. If we flip the vehicle to the other side, cause check this out. We can actually do a 360 walk around. So at each point here, and even in the back, yeah, they got some features in the back. We did these features here on the side. We did these features on the front. Let's do these features uh, to the right here. Let's do these features right here. So they're going to talk about the brake calipers. Uh, we know that uh, all versions feature Brembo brakes. All right. All versions get Brembo brakes. They're just going to be varying degree and levels of Brembo brakes. We know the Trofeo also gets Brembo brakes, but they're going to be more powerful than, say, the base model or even the SQ4. Uh, chassis and weight distribution. Uh, they have a perfect 50-50 weight distribution for this vehicle. So it's very, very balanced. Soft closed doors and a keyless entry system. Standard keyless entry uh, and soft closed doors like that. That is very, very nice. Let's move on. Let's spin around to what was that? Let's spin around to the rear because in the rear they had a few other things. Exhaust and sound. We already listened to the sound of the Trofeo's exhaust and we know that the Trofeo's exhaust is all blacked out. Right, so we can see that here. It's got a nice little rear diffuser down there. It's all good. Uh, power trunk and a kick sensor. So you got a power trunk and you got a kick sensor. So you can swipe your foot underneath and uh, uh, the trunk will open. The system will only operate if the key transmitter, transmitter is within three feet. What else? On the SQ4, there is an intelligent all-wheel drive system so that was really this last piece here there's an all-wheel drive system all right let's move on to these interior features and then we'll do our build so what do they got down here we can't really see it oh the sound system so there's two sound systems that are available I guess there's the standard Harman Kardon and then there's a Bowers and Wilkins uh, upgrade so there we go I don't okay what else do we have we've got uh, the ZF 8-speed transmission, that's going to be standard on whether you get the V6 or the V8 Trofeo. We've got the Maserati Connect. Seems to be a way that you can check out your car's health, uh, view the latest maps, traffic information in real time. Uh, you got Maserati Intelligent Assist, which gives you Amazon Alexa and a Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, what do we have here? A highway assist system, which looks to be cruise control. Uh, so, you know, you got a camera up front that can do all this. You can maintain a desired speed, distance between other vehicles. You've got uh, Maserati Intelligent Assist. It's powered by Android Auto. It's, uh, is that their infotainment system? They don't call it an infotainment system, but it seems to be. I mean, that's what they're showing on the, on the, as the picture here. 10.1-inch touchscreen. Uh, it's frameless, and it's got a new graphic uh, interface. What else is there? I think we've kind of gone through all of those we have and so now there's really only one thing left to do and that's go ahead and build and price our Quattroporte our Trofeo here we can see its quick little specs let's go ahead and click the build tab and get started okay here we are on the Maserati Quattroporte configurator the first thing we need to do is pick our exterior colors they've got non-metallic colors and some metallic colors so this non-metallic color seems to be Nero that's black and then we have your standard white so you got black or white then we have a black that is metallic we have a Grigio I don't know if that's some shade of gray I don't know I'm not gonna try to guess all these names and what colors they mean uh, and then we have another shade of white of some sort you know what I'm not really crazy about any of the colors Let's just stick with the basic black. That works for me. Now we've got some wheel options here, so let's move on to wheels. And uh, the wheels that they're showing us is the 21-inch Machine Polish Orion 1, Orion 1 black wheel. Uh, then we've got a couple of different options. we got some silver wheels if you want a lighter wheel. Here's a shot with the lighter wheel here, the 21-inch Silver Forge wheel. Uh, and then you have this wheel with a dark accent. That looks kind of nice, doesn't it? I'd rather, that wheel looks all right. 
all this is telling us is that it says more details. This is telling us that it's swapping out the wheels. That's all it's really saying. Uh, so we got this wheel. That actually looks nice. I can see that a little bit better. This dark forge wheel is cool. Can we see it from another angle? Maybe we might appreciate it better. That's it. Is, do they have another angle? Uh, I don't know. Let's just do the silver. Let's just do the silver wheel. That's what I really feel more than anything. Uh, let's move on to brake calipers. And so now we're going to talk about brake caliper color. Uh, standard is red. We can do the gloss blue. Are they going to show the blue? They don't show the blue. Let's do Yeah, they did show the blue. And it's a $400 option if we wanted to do the blues. I don't really want to do the blue. Let's just do uh, the red. So they've got the red with the Maserati script for $1,500. Then they've got the basic red. They've got black for $400. And they've got a, a silver for 400. Let's do the standard red. Let's just do our standard red. That's a no cost option. We subtract that $400. And it's not really about the cost. It's about, I just think that the red brake caliper, the basic one, is nice. And we don't really need to do anything else. Okay, so we did the exterior stuff that we picked for the configurator. Let's move on to the interior. I've been playing around with it a little bit. It's very confusing. You know, I can I can press... I, I, again, I'm not going to try to figure out all these words. Uh, I don't speak a foreign language. I speak, I speak English. That's what I speak. Uh, so I click this. It's tan with the black piping. I click this black. It goes black with the black carbon fiber. I try to click this, this one here, maroon or whatever it says, uh, and it does nothing. Over here, when it shows leather seats, if I go ahead and click red, for instance, it takes a second to load, but then we've got this nice red leather interior. Let's try it with the black stitching, so it goes black with red leather, or I'm sorry, black with red stitching. That looks actually kind of nice, uh, so we're going to kind of hang out there. The thing is, if I go ahead and click this, what does that do? It removes that red stitching, so let's go ahead and put the red stitching back. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, upper dashboard looks to be only one shot. It gives, it gives you the matching stitching. The dashboard, same deal. Carpet, black carpet. Steering wheel, okay, full leather. It doesn't even give you an option for a carbon fiber wheel. Uh, headliner is either black or gray. We're going to stick with black. Your trim, we've got the high gloss carbon fiber. Or you can get the piano black. I don't want to do the piano black. We're going to go with the carbon fiber. And so I think that was everything for our interior. So let's move on. So there is a package. It's an interior carbon fiber package. It's $1,100. Gives you carbon fiber shift paddles, carbon fiber door sills, black leather and carbon fiber sports steering wheel, and a high gloss carbon fiber twill trim. I want it. I like carbon fiber, so we're just going to go. We're, we're going to do all the carbon fiber. We've got that package. Next up is really options. Um, we got the standard Harman Kardon sound system. Do you want the Bowers and Wilkins? Yes. Do you want the four zone automatic climate control? Yes. Do you want the full premium perforated leather? I'm okay not getting that. Heated black. We already upgraded to the carbon fiber. So we can't do column-mounted shift paddles, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, we're all right there. They say there's more options. What are they? Uh, you've got different kinds of sport pedals. I guess we have those already. Uh, we've got the natural leather upholstery. Uh, oh, they, this is that Zenga or Zegna. I don't even know how to pronounce it. they got three-season tires. they got all-season performance tires. they got a light carbon fiber kit. What is that? What is a light carbon fiber kit? They don't even go into that. Does that give me that on my, uh, do I get carbon fiber on my side mirrors? It would be nice to have a paragraph on that. I'm not going to spend $2,000 for something. I have no idea what it's going to give me. So based on that, I guess let's move on to the summary. Uh, we're sitting at, we're sitting at $146,590. Did it add any, I don't think it added any prices for any of that stuff. Uh, to be quite honest with you. So yeah, there we are. We are at our, our uh, top tier. It gives us the prices here uh, for the packages and what we pay, but wasn't 146590 our starting price? The answer to that question is no. The starting price for the uh, Trofeo was 142390 And now we're sitting at, what, 146590 All right. 
So we only added about, what, not very much, three grand and some change, something like that. So here we are, 2021 Maserati Quattroporte Trofeo. I like the car, not crazy about the configurator. The website, uh, they laid out the information okay, uh, but the car is very, very nice. It's a very, very nice car. If you want something different than your than your Audi RS7s or your Mercedes or your BMWs, and those are all great cars, you get something like this, something different, something with a different flair, and I like it. I like it. On that note, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this review of the 2021 Maserati Quattro Porte Trofeo helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the very next video.